It's the weekend, but that doesn't mean jack squat. Tech news stops for no one, not even me. You'd think it would if you asked nicely, but nope, I've tried. Does your power supply run too loud and too hot? Just pick up a Be Quiet power supply. They range from 80 plus bronze to platinum, feature a completely silent cooling fan, and come with a five-year warranty. Plus, they're designed by the Germans, so you know it's efficient. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just get it, get it out of there. The GPU Technology Conference just wrapped up, but one of NVIDIA's demos that slipped under the radar, with us at least, was a zero latency display. Say what? The company showed off a display running at a refresh rate of 1,700 hertz. For perspective, the very fastest consumer monitors you can get right now run at 240 hertz. The display was mounted on a rail system that allowed it to move very rapidly from side to side, while an NVIDIA logo on screen appeared to stay still in real space despite the motion. Now, the wheels on the rail system were configured to feed their movement into the system instantaneously, so you wouldn't see this zero latency working on a regular PC. But what this would do is eliminate the bottleneck on the monitor side. So so, all we need now is zero latency input devices and processors. And then we can live in VR forever and ever, amen. More NVIDIA news, although these are rumors, so take them with a grain of salt. NVIDIA and AMD may both be looking to launch their next-gen GPUs in June. Industry sources have apparently told DigiTimes that NVIDIA plans to launch their Pascal GPUs, including the GTX 1080 and 1070, if that's what they're called, we still don't know, at Computex, which runs from May 31st to June 4th. Meanwhile, Hardware Battle, a pretty reliable source of leaks in the past, claimed that AMD will also reveal the Polaris 10-based Radeon 490 and 490X in early June, but will actually launch the cards later in the month. So if the 490s are based on Polaris 10, where does that leave Fiji? Will we get less rebrands from the AMD camp this time around? Please, AMD. That's all I want for Christmas. Google is reportedly considering adopting Apple's homegrown programming language, Swift, into Android. Swift was intended to serve as a replacement for Objective-C, and many developers praised its efficiency early on. However, adopting Swift would be no small task. Java is currently the first-class language for Android, and changing gears would require developing a new Swift runtime, modifying its standard library to be Swift-compatible, and adding support for the language to APIs and SDKs. So if it's so much work, why is Google considering it. Well, probably because of their long-running dispute with Oracle, the makers of the Java programming language, over whether Google has to pay royalties for its use in Android. Swift is open source, so royalties wouldn't be an issue. The thing is, Google hasn't asked hardcore Android fans about how they'd feel having a little piece of Apple inside their phones, just sitting there, gloating. I'd feel violated. Now! It's time for... Twitbits. Mario going Super Saiyan, ha ha, I would not want to get in his way, ha <laughs> Thanks for your submission, Mr. Fox Marvk. That's a name. I know you submitted that a while ago, and I'm sorry to the rest of you two that have all submitted awesome quick bits. Honestly, there's so many now, and I've tried to log all of them, so stay tuned, I will try and put them all up. Anyways, quick bits. Blizzard has served a notice to Nostalrius, a private server that hosts a vanilla version of World of Warcraft, demanding they take down their servers or risk legal action. Nostalrius, which has had 800,000 users with registered accounts, will be deactivating their servers, but is supplying resources to its users so they can make their own server and are asking Blizzard if they can work together to host an official vanilla server. How do you guys feel about this? Is Blizzard in the right? Leave a comment below. Adobe has published a critical update for Flash, which patches a vulnerability to a type of ransomware called Cerber. So make sure you download it, or better yet, make Flash web content click to play. That's what Microsoft is finally doing with their Edge browser. Flash content that's not central to the page, like advertisements and side animations, will have to be clicked in order to run. Another note in the death knell of Flash. Chant it with me! HTML5! 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 <laughs> It's really not catchy enough. A Kickstarter campaign is looking to create prescription frames for VR headsets so you don't have to wear your glasses or contacts while using a Rift or Vive. Sounds like a good plan to me. 
Speaking of the Vive, demos of the unit are going to be available at Microsoft and GameStop stores in the US and Canada. The list of locations are available on the Vive website. And Google has released Android Studio 2.0 with some great new features for developers, including instant run, cloud test lab, and app indexing. New sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Ooh, this is a tough one. I think the official pronunciation is and no, I don't think it is. Some of you may remember NCIX's old warehouse sales, and we've got a big announcement. We're not having another one yet. But the good news is that we're having an online-only warehouse sale. It's even better. Trust me, with deals up to 80% off. But that's not all. For a limited time, use coupon code NOW OR NEVER to redeem free ground shipping on any orders over 50 bucks and under 50 pounds. 50 is really the magic number in this scenario. So go check out the deals by clicking here or the link in the description. Exciting stuff. All right, that's it for Nailing Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch more videos. Follow us on social media over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, although it's true that tech news stops for no one, Netlink does stop for someone, and that's me. Because it's the weekend now, and I need to catch up on my sleep. Like, right now. Oh, pro tip, uh, powered off VR headset works great as a makeshift sleep mask in a jiffy. Night, everyone. Oh. Oh. I didn't really go to sleep, it was a joke. <laughs>